we are live streaming today. Uh, we're going to ladder and uh, hopefully get as close to link seven as possible. However, I wanted to be the first to be like, hey, hero balance update. There's another one with uh, a lot of interesting heroes. So um, we're going to do that first. And uh, I'll be making this its own video. So you'll be seeing that probably tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so when you watch this and hear about live stream, just know, you know, I, I'm doing this video during my live stream. Um, I, I'm so torn because I'm looking at, um, you know, the names here before reading what the changes are. And I just hope um, you know, the Night Child, for example, got got a buff. Even though she's good. Um, I'm scared that they, like, <laughs> nerfed her. Um, General Zarma, you know, he definitely needs a buff. Blair, she's probably too strong, so hopefully she got a nerf. Everybody else can use a buff for sure. So let's get into it and read exactly what's uh, going on here. So, Danny Croc here, he, his attack, health, and skill values have been increased by 20%, which is great. I noticed that they've been doing that with a lot of heroes, you know, when they do these balance updates. They're increasing the value of everything, and which is nice. Um, his updated first skill still is health from all enemies when played. What did it do before? <laughs> what did it do before? Either way, this, I mean, this is obviously a positive. Like, you can't really increase the values and say, oh, well, this is bad for him. <laughs> so, maybe he's playable now. Um, I doubt it, but... We'll probably test them out um, sometime next week or something. All of these uh, hero changes, we'll, we'll probably make a deck of it. All right, Snake the Lizard Prince. Uh, see, here we go again. Attack and health increase by 20%. Update your first skill gets resistance 100% for one turn. So somebody else is getting resistance instead of invulnerability. They're, they're trying to like stray away from invulnerability I think which is interesting um, so his second skill value increased to around 100% of his base attack okay 100% is nice that's twice as much his third skill now summons attack runes instead of damage runes Okay, so depending on how much attack we get, I feel like I like that a lot. I feel like I like that a lot. Like, especially like a, I'm a Dominius player, you know, and to get extra attack on my Dominius seems really nice. <laughs> I'm very scared for Fury because Fury, if you don't know, um, the Love Hurts event is coming tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. And look right here, bam, Fury. And he gets four attacks total by default. So if we're giving him extra, extra attack, like for, it's just going to be insane. Um, you know, Ghosta is another one, which is, I'm going to hate seeing her all over, the, like she's all over the place now. Um, but wow, she can be brutal with more people having higher level ghosts. And of course, the lightning god. It seems like a solid event, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. So good luck to everybody with the event tomorrow. But anyway, moving back to this, <clears throat> Blair, she's actually getting her health increase, which is crazy because uh, I don't want to see blairs that are harder to kill like uh, 
She just seems good. But anyway, her health and attack are getting increased by 15%, which is a lower amount than the other two so far, which is good. <clears throat> um, ally appears give mental shield to all allies in her row, including herself. So that appears to be a nerf, because before it would be any ally that appeared. Now it's just in her row. But she also gives it herself now. But yeah, so that's a nerf. Her updated third skill, allies mental shield expires, deals damage to all enemies. So before she gave Pierce, um, when before the ally attacked, <clears throat> which was really good <laughs> because then that meant that you could uh, kill off things that, um, you know, Blair reduced their HP to one or five, it was, right? Five. So now, you, you can still kind of do that with this damage thing, but, you know, it requires your mental shield to drop. So, it gives, <coughs> I feel like it gives the enemy, like, a, a turn to react, at least, potentially. Um... So yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of a nerf in a way, but I really like that damage to all enemies thing though. Hopefully it's, I, I don't know the amount. It, are, is it already updated? I think is it already a thing? Let's check it out if it is. Uh, Blair, Blair, Blair. Where is, oh, there it is. Oh, it is, okay, so. Mine does 23 damage right now, which isn't amazing. But it's probably okay. <laughs> Let's see if the Reborn's, yeah, okay. Reborn makes this way better, okay. I guess I like that then. I guess I like it. All right, um. Moving on to the next one, our good friend, the general, <clears throat> attack health and skill values increased by 20%, which is great because he, uh, you know, copies himself. So having the skill values increase just increases that by more than 20% when you really think about it. He's immune to silence now. <laughs> Oh boy, I, okay, <clears throat> you know, I'm actually going to probably put him in my deck, like, right after we get done with this, for this, uh, climbing that we're going to do, because immunity to silence is always very attractive, especially right now, in this meta, <laughs> so, well, we're going to do that, um, Echo of the Void skills, updated first skill, value equal to Zorma's. His second heals allies in row. Okay. I'm still like very excited by this immunity to silence thing. I'm very happy with that. What well, we're gonna test that out today. So Grimmery, the night child. Hey basketball, what's up? How are you doing? So yeah, Grimmery, Night Child, the updated second skill, her cursed cursed enemy death deals damage times three of the old curse amount to the enemy warlord. Really now? She might <laughs> times three seems like a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that seems like a lot. Hello, Pex, what's up? How are you today? Yeah, so Grimmery, we're gonna we're definitely testing that a curse deck again sometime soon. Not today though. Uh and then finally our good old octopus friend here. The old god. His health increased by fifty percent. That seems like a ton. And his updated third skill 
steals health from the enemy warlord. Okay, okay. That seems disgusting. Ally gets silent. Wait, that's not in the... <laughs> okay. Like, I wish you would say that. Like, that's a big change. Steals... So when an ally gets silenced, it steals 105 health from the enemy warlord. So, like, if you have a full board and each thing gets silenced... It's 105 for each one, right? Is, I'm reading that right? That seems absurd. Huh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's any other like changes here that wasn't on the, the thing. Uh, la, 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 la. It doesn't look like it. But that seems crazy to me, man. All right. So the, yeah, that's the uh, hero changes. That's that's wild. <laughs> I we're we're gonna try that out in a future video. All those uh, heroes and see if the changes are worth playing. It looks like at least two of them are. But yeah. <laughs>